Hi guys, my name is Nadia Moor and in this video I'm going to show you how to create Kira Kira Sparkle um, filter together with uh, face smoothing and also a uh, lot with uh, colors. So first we're going to use two patches and those patches I got from two wonderful developers. Let me show you. So one developer is Emery Tan. And another developer is Maru Studio. I'm going to leave a link to description of those two channels. So you can check out their, their videos. They also do uh, Spark Art tutorials. And I'm going to also give you a link to this folder. And you would have to download all objects from this folder. That's all you're going to need for this project. Download. How to resize the window. Show all. It says uh, it's dangerous. It's not. Keep dangerous files. Keep anyway. Show and find there. So I'm going to open this zip file. Now I'm going to Spark AR. Closing this project. And creating new project. I'm going to do blank project, so let me click on this one. And I'm going to switch to my video. Also, I'm going to open this, this uh, folder that we just downloaded from the link that I gave you guys. And I'm going to drag this all this stuff into our project into assets panel okay closing this part opening the project waiting for it to download and now i'm gonna highlight all of it and click no compression next step we're gonna we're going to do skin smoothing and then LOD and then Kira Kira Sparkle in the end. So first we're going to start with the adding skin smoothing. So we need to add face mesh. Here's face mesh. So every time when you add face mesh, face tracker adds automatically because that's a parent of this face mesh. And let's call it smoothing. And we're going to material and clicking add material on plus here. And new material appeared in our assets panel. And we're going to call it smoothing also. And then we are going to the shader type of this material and we are clicking retouching. And I will pick like something not much like 27 29 is good and i also want to take away full screen because i want only smoothing for my face i don't want smoothing for entire screen okay so we're done with that next step is we clicking on view show show hide patch editor i'm gonna resize it to make it bigger and now we are dra dragging and dropping this color a lot on our patch editor. It's kind of easier to do this way because you can see what you what what do you need. So here we need lot. We have lot here. I have two lots just for like so you can see the difference of colors. So I'm gonna just drop both those lots he here. You're gonna use either one, but just to see the difference. Next. We have need camera texture. We are going to camera and we're going to texture extraction, clicking on plus. And here it's appeared um, 
on, on this panel, on assets panel. And we are dragging this camera action. Also, we need face tracker texture. So we are going to face tracker and again texture extraction. And this face tracker texture appeared in the assets. Now, important part, like it's it's important for your filter to work correctly. You need to click on this face texture and enable uplink and alignment. Eyes and mouth. That's important. Okay, so we are dragging it here. So now we have all what we need through the RGBA port. We connect it to the camera texture, face tracker, and also let's collect first lot. Now we need to look here, camera color and face color. Okay, so for the face color, we need one more face mesh. I'm going to click on the face tracker, add, and add, and add face mesh. And let's call it face lot. And I'm going to add material, create new material. I'm going to call it face lot. OK, let's go to the shader type and going to click Flat. And texture, I'm going to click on this, this arrow and it's going to appear here. We're going to connect, fa yeah, we're going to connect face color with this face lot. Also, in order not to have like those, it's not, it's difficult to see here, but in order to have more smooth edges on your face, it's better to add, click on alpha and add texture here and it's going to be face uh, mesh mask. So we're going to add this mask to here and the edge is going to look more smoother. Next thing we need camera color. So we need to add new object and we're going to add rectangle. When we're going to add rectangle, the canvas is going to appear um, uh, by itself and also important thing here you want your canvas be above your face tracker so we moved here and now we're gonna rename it to background plot and we want to break the size Fill width and fill height. That's our size. And we are adding again material. Create new material. Background. Lot. By the way, I have lots of uh, filter masks on my Instagram. So if you're curious, to see my filter masks, please go to my Instagram and try them on. Okay, so background lot. Here we are going to the uh, flat again and clicking on the texture and connecting this texture with camera roll. Okay, so we are done with our uh, lot. And let's try to connect this lot, different lot. So you see the color changed here, or we can connect with this lot. It changed to this way. I'm going to keep the first lot. This I'm going to delete. But if you like another lot, you can pick another lot, or you can add your own lot. So we're going to delete this. So we are done with the skin smoothing and lot. Next thing we're going to do is, I'm going to resize it to see better. We're going to add simple Kira. Patch. So for the simple Kira, we're going to need sparkle, camera texture, device resolution. 
camera texture I already have so I can connect then uh, sparkle I, I give you two sparkles uh, I believe did I I think I'm gonna add actually a second sparkle but in this case there's this one let me see um, quickly so simple Kira study Nadia Moore sparkle let me just add project I'm gonna add in front of you I add the second sparkle to the project. Yeah, second one. And I'm gonna add it to this project here because I love the sparkle. You can draw your own sparkle on in Photoshop or you can download it somewhere on the web. You need to have just the project type PNG. So I drew this one in Photoshop and I like it so I'm gonna use the second one <clears throat> but if you like the first one you can use the first one or you can find or you can find any one on the web so I'm gonna connect the sparkle here and texture and the last thing we need to connect is a device resolution so we are going to device and we are creating custom opening interactions producer fetch here so we created producer patch and we're dragging it here and screen size to device resolution. We don't see any sparkles yet because we have too little pixels. Let's this 10 and also we need to create the texture. So for the texture, we need to go to the canvas and add again rectangle object and I will call it sparkle one gonna add materials create new material I'm gonna keep standard and I'm going to name it Sparkle. One. Okay. Let's go back to the assets and let's pick the correct width. Full height. And going back to Sparkle 1 and clicking on Texture here. And now you can see our first sparkles. So in order to see how many sparkles we created, you can click on Replace here. And you can see, so this many sparkles was created. So I'm going to go back to Add. But I want more sparkles. So in order to do that, I'm going to duplicate this item. It's going to be sparkle one. We're going to duplicate it. And we have sparkle two. And then we're going to duplicate this, this material. When you duplicate something, all the previous properties are going to be duplicated as well. So sparkle two. And now I'm going to sparkle two and I'm changing the material to sparkle two here. And then I'm clicking on texture again and second texture appeared here and now I'm highlighting this simple Cura patch and copy uh, actually command command C and command V oh, didn't oh yeah worked and now I'm connecting again and I'm, this time I'm gonna add more pixels it's gonna be 15 let's see how it looks on replace 
so the sparkles are getting smaller but there's more sparkles and I want them to sh shift them so they're not in the same um, location so I'm gonna put like 300 here and 300 here and then gonna shift a little bit and then let's go back to add and now you can see we have sparkles you can change you can pick different type of sparkles so um, and you can pick different lat so it's all up to you so if you like this video please subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna post uh, many others uh, sparkle air tutorials and also uh, if you like my um, uh, filters then go to my Instagram there's more filters for you to try on and use it if you like them thank you so much have a good day